Hey, hey, Big Mike on the mic. Canyon Velo, Saturday, August 12th. Yeah, right there at T. Harris Creek. This is where things usually um, start to pop, although, um, yeah, the watts were already going pretty good by the time we got to this little kicker hill here. And, yeah, it, actually this hill turned out to be not quite as hard for quite as long as I thought. Um, so not too bad. I was able to get over this portion um, okay. I believe I'm on Frank's wheel. Always a good wheel to be on. So, yeah, we're just going up over this kicker. The, the road is really rough there, so you get you, know, you get quite a bit of uh, bouncing around. I think I'm going to go to 200x speed here. And, yeah, look at us pedal, man. We're the spinners now. Because, um, you know, there's not really much to say as you just crank up uh, Antonio here. Although this girlie was just killing it. She was here, I think, last week and, and broke um, her shoe. Her cleat, not it wasn't her cleat, it was her it was her clip on her shoe. Um, and you know, I was kind of like, wow, I was curious to see what kind of leg she um, has. It turns out she has really good legs and she kicked my ass. Um, can't quite remember her name, although she did tell me her name um, last week, and there's Tracy. So we got um, we got the two girls and Anne was in this group too, and she's always always killing it. So yeah, I'm yep, uh, moderately hard. Um, up Antonio, it's never easy. Um, yeah, it's always hard. Thank goodness we had some breaks on the lights there. That always helps me out. There's Bob. I think, yeah, Josh. That's Josh in front of me. Yeah. So it's funny, again, how you always seem to be kind of on the same people's wheel. You always seem to find kind of the same group of, of people to, to, to wheel suck on. So, yep, you can see the watts go up there. They were up, up there around 600 and... Um, yeah, it's just, you know, Antonio's never never super easy. So my objective today is my my threshold is definitely a good 20%, maybe even more off from what it was earlier this year in the April time frame. So I'm just looking to get in some good, really almost repeat slash threshold threshold work, which I was able to do. So here's one of my one of my longer threshold segments um, in terms of how I was thinking about it. Um, you know, 20 minutes, I'm probably good for a good 20 minute effort and then followed by a 10 minute effort, followed by a five minute effort, something along those lines on a hard group ride like this. And the lights were kind of um, kind of saving me. So thank goodness for the lights. <laughs> There's uh, Carlos. So yeah, I got the usual uh, folks out here. And again, just a hard, you know, up and down 200 watts, 400 watts, 500 watts, 600 watts type of ride. And again, a pretty big group today. Um, so if I, uh, if I don't give you a shout out or mention you or get your name wrong, um, my apologies as usual. So it's not always easy to keep everybody squared away. So I know I'm on Steve's wheel here on the left. Not sure who this guy is on the right, but yeah, he had, he had good legs the, the whole day. And you'll kind of see how things uh, things end up panning out um, as we get to the Live Oak Climb, which was another objective of mine was to uh, basically be faster and put some good threshold work in on that particular climb. So we're just, like I said, just kind of motoring down um, Antonio here in usual Canyon Velo way. Um, you have 400 watts, 500 watts, and again, super important to to spin and uh, you know if you're if you're grinding um, yeah just do the research on on how much more efficient spinning actually is didn't see too many grinders out there today to be honest everybody was spinning uh, spinning pretty good and I actually in the canyon I get on a guy's wheel who's been riding this ride a couple times and he's a he's a big tall guy I don't know how much he weighs he's he's pretty fit um, he's actually kicked my butt the last couple rides Jorge goes by look at him spin <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah this big this big tall guy you'll you'll see him out here a little bit later when we get into live oak proper just made that red light <laughs> you know I'm always looking ahead so if if you know if anybody wants any tips I'm always looking ahead and when I'm you know when I'm going hard I'm looking ahead for red lights because <laughs> uh, yeah I'll take any little bit of rest I can uh, I can get um, so I can just hang on to these uh, to these fit folks that are out there on your friendly Saturday ride. So I always look ahead and go and I try to gauge. I'm like, hmm, are we gonna are we gonna 
make that light? Is that light going to stay green? Is it going to go red when we get there? And I try to position myself in the group um, to my advantage based on what I think that light's, light's going to be. So we, we got a few extra lights um, today, and I think that, I think that helped me um, a tad. So we're getting up here closer to Rancho. So what I tend to do, again, I'm trying to save watts here. So I'm just slowing down a tad. So when we actually do get um, to Rancho, I'm more towards the middle or the back of the group. I can just save a bit of energy by doing that when you go around this corner. The downside of doing that, though, is you got to time that light um, properly going onto Live Oak. So again, you got to look up the road there and and you know kind of see what that try to figure out what that that light's going to do so here we do the turn as we go up to live oak and i actually um, skip through um, the descent there the straightaway and the descent on the corkscrew and we're back on the live oak climb proper and the group just started to split here i, I push this forward and slow the speed down to 1x again here's the big guy in orange and they're out of the saddle we're going up that first kicker and you know, usually the the a, a split is made here, or the you know things go pretty hard. And indeed, there is a group up there, as as you can see. I've gone back up to two x just because we're in live oak, and you don't want to see the, you know, it just takes too long to to do this at normal speed. But whoever this guy is, um, next time you see me or I see you, I'll try and I'll try and get your name. But he's been on the ride. Um, I want to say the last three or four weeks or so. I've seen him. He's had really good legs. He spins really good for a uh, for a big guy for sure. And I, I essentially just planted myself on his wheel. And you know the the group. You can see a couple guys going past us that have a little bit better legs than we do. Chances are we may end up passing those guys when we get under the steeper part of the climb. You never know. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what happens after assembling this video. But I like being on this guy's wheel. This is one of the few. Um, riders where my camera is even or actually looking up at the underside of his seat doesn't happen very often because I'm not a tiny guy so this guy's he's got to be like eight feet tall or something crazy like that he just looks he looks super tall um, no idea what he weighs but being so tall he's probably up there close to 200 pounds or so but he is definitely fit so yeah just was a good um, a good wheel to be on, and I, I did use him like a, you know, like a domestique, <laughs> as you'll see here. Um, but, you know, that's group riding, right? So, yeah, we managed to get up to a couple of guys who are either falling off the A group list or went past us um, there a little bit too prematurely. And just settling in and trying to keep my, my watts and my cadence um, steady. And next week, um, hopefully I'll... I'll make an improvement on the time by another 20 or 30 seconds and continue to increase my threshold. So that was another little kicker there before the, uh, you know, the proper, the wall, if you will. So yeah, I was just determined to stay on this guy's wheel and just let, you know, just let uh, things go where they would go. So I was, uh, I was able to do that. Um, thank goodness, because again, he, I pretty much he had just ridden me right off um, the last the last few rides so maybe he was on a bad day or maybe he just had trained a lot that week or forgot to eat his Wheaties and drink less coffee so yep so we're on the uh, climb proper here again it's just kind of interesting to watch the RPMs watch the percent slope watch the watts go up so I thought he was just gonna leave me in the dust here but I stayed on it you know shifted down into my my I call it my emergency gear. So I think I get into my first gear here. I like to keep that for emergencies, the steeper part and the end, end part of climbs. So I'm like, oh man, am I going to be able to stay on? What's you know what's the deal here? These he's been I've been sucking wheel the whole time. Um, hopefully I can get him. So yeah, so I start to reel these guys in and whoop, and I happen to go by him. So hey, much appreciated. <laughs> I did use you there like a wet rag. And uh, it went by, and yeah, that's how things go. He did say something to me when we got to the bottom. It wasn't it wasn't anything bad. I couldn't really quite hear what he said, uh, so it's kind of funny. All right, so we're we're done going through the canyon, going up Silverado, where I'm just completely shot, and we've actually come down Silverado now. And you know, this is I usually don't show this footage, so we're pretty much um, this is where who's ever left um, on the group. Um, is coming down Silverado here towards 
uh, the canyon, and you know things things get quite heated through here too. Usually pretty fast. You're in the 30, 35 mile an hour zone. I got this at double X speed again. Anna's up there just killing it um, with the boys. So good job, Ann. She's man. I don't know how she does it. And Tracy is up there. So what happens here is the group um, usually splits up, and some folks head back. I think probably to the start wherever this ride actually starts. I've never started with this ride. I've met them on Irvine Boulevard a couple times, but I've never actually started at the start location, probably the same place that Como starts. So yeah, you can see we we're turning here, um, getting to the canyon here, and you can see how the group essentially just splits. Now what was nice is I got in a nice group of uh, uh, six guys, um, Carlos, Bob, uh, Mark, Ken, and Jorge. So yeah, we managed to not kill ourselves going through the intersection here. <laughs> Thank goodness. And there's still a good, I still got a good, hmm, I want to say 11, 12 miles to go before I get home. And usually, you know, I'm thinking, hey, we're going to go nice and easy, but not so much. So now look at these guys. There's the pink socks. Got to mention the pink socks, Jorge. Uh, I think they said enjoy life on his pink socks. And then we got Carlos in yellow. Now look at, look at him styling. He's got the yellow jersey, yellow socks, and yellow gloves. Nice job there, Carlos. He's all in yellow. So now we're going up the downside of Cook's Climb, if that makes any sense, from the downside of Majesca. And, you know, these guys just weren't, they weren't going really hard, but they nobody was going easy. And I, I was, I'm pretty toast. So I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on either Bob's wheel or Carlos's wheel or who's ever, you know, who's ever at the very back, except for me, I'm at the very back. And we're, we're making pretty good watts going up up uh, up the climb here. And again, I'm just determined to not lose somebody's wheel. <laughs> so I don't want to be, you know, way off the back here as we go up this climb. So we're just, you know, we're just motoring up the climb. I'm doing, you know, doing what I can here towards the end of a long ride. And Ken, you know, usually don't see Ken fall off like that. So I don't, I don't know how much Ken's been riding, but he usually um, kicks my butt at the end of a ride. Solid, solid wheel to be on, Ken. Sorry, we just left you like, you know, like a, like a cheap, I don't know. We left you on the side of the road there. Poor guy. So, yeah, I'm just sitting, sitting on wheels. Jorge is up there, and Mark, Mark and Jorge, orange hunker guy, and Carlos, and those guys go fight it out for, um, Count and coup at the top of this particular climb, but look at Bob get out of the saddle and just kill it. Man, that guy just never, he's what a what a machine he is. So he was taking some good pulls out there today too, and I never caught Bob on uh, on Live Oak. So I don't know. I need a few more weeks be, before I get you there, Bob. So those guys put a gap on us, but now look at Bob here. He don't give up, right? These guys got to the top, fought it out for uh, for some points. <laughs> I don't know who's keeping count of these points, but those boys fought it out for some points, but Bob didn't give up when he, when he crested the top and look, he gets out and it's just, look at the Watts there, 800 Watts at the end of a ride. I'm like, I'm just, I'm not going to lose a wheel here. So, you know, I was determined to, to stay with these guys. So now we come all the way down the climb and go past Cooks, got this again, back up at double speed. And again, we, these guys just weren't, weren't uh, really letting off the gas that much. And I really had not contributed at all, but finally at the very end of the ride, you know how these things go. I managed to put a nice little effort in there and spend some time in the 500 watt range as we get up here past uh, past Painted Trails. I used to own a home in there. <laughs> it's a long story. You don't want to know it. No more home in Painted Trails. Uh, but yeah, hey, life is good. I mean, look look at that. Look at our SoCal weather. Look at just, wow, how beautiful is that? So now we come down, and this is pretty much, and th this is all that's left of the folks who live towards Mission Viejo and Ladera. So Bob goes straight down El Toro, and, you know, we turn off and go to, uh, I, I just go home here, right, off Marguerite. And, and I had been thinking about my, my swimming pool here for quite some time, probably from about, I don't know, somewhere on Antonio, I started thinking about it. So anyways, we turn on to Marguerite here. We're pretty much done. Everybody's going, going home. There be my pool. And yeah, I'm going to just look forward to jumping in that thing. And yep, there we go. All right, guys and girls. Hey, fun riding. How blessed are we? Everybody have a good one. We'll catch you next time around.